Well, hello, everybody, and uh, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Harrell, and I work for Ministry Incubators, and it is our joy to partner with the Western North Carolina Conference of the United Methodist Church in some of its homegrown, innovative, fresh ministries that are, are springing up all over the state of North Carolina. And it's my joy today to talk to the Reverend Brian Wilson, who is serving in Hayesville at Stillwater's Landing. Brian, how are you doing today? Doing great. Great to be here. Hey. Awesome. And we just want to ask you a little bit about what Stillwater's Landing is and how it started and, and what kind of your passion for this project is. So tell us about Stillwater's Landing. Yeah. So the idea between Still, of Stillwater's Landing is we, we want to renew the community through uh, faith, food, uh, farming, and fellowship. And while we do that, we also want to provide the poorest in the community access to the highest quality food. And what that looks like for us is we have uh, a little over eight acres of farmland. We do pasture raised pork and poultry, uh, specifically just eggs there. And then we also do biointensive uh, produce, uh, which allows us to, we can make, we do produce all year round um, and we donate to the local food pantries. Uh, we have classes that are down there in partnership with local schools. Uh, we also have a partnership with the Steel Place, which is a uh, a, a place of respite for families that have terminally ill children, and they're they're down at the farm actually today, um, getting to, to hang out with the pigs and chickens, and they'll take some produce and pork home and do an Iron Chef night. Um, and the idea, Stillwaters, uh, you know, I, I kind of fell in love with agriculture from a young age. I, I grew up on a farm, and we uh, at that time we were just uh, leasing most of it out and then doing. Uh, tobacco ourselves. I've always had my hand in farming uh, since I went into to ministry. And I guess while I was at Duke, uh, I ran across Wendell Berry and that really even spurred, spurred me further along. Um, and my wife and I started doing egg layers and a small garden at our parsonage there. And when we came to Hayesville, we asked if there was any way we could continue doing that. And Kathy and Keith Gibby, uh, a couple of members from Hickory Stand said, well, we have land, but we're not always here. Let's start something up. And we envisioned a, a couple of um, gardens, raised bed gardens, and maybe some chickens. And then we got a phone call that one of my friends had was sold his farm, and he had two pregnant Berkshire sows and a, a boar and about 50 chickens and wanted to know if we wanted them. And we, we, we took them. And then since then, you know, the, the ministry has become more than we ever imagined, of course. Uh, as, as things tend to do in God's hands. And we've partnered with resourceful communities, Catholic charities with the Duke Endowment, uh, hired our first farm manager last year, or two years ago, Andrew Jones, and he just continued, he has taken that farm uh, leaps and bounds uh, where it was when, when he took it. And uh, we're, you know, we're expecting to quadruple our income into the farm, which then allows us to give more, which allows us to throw, we do uh, community pig pickings and concerts, uh, two of them annually. Uh, so we, it helps us do stuff like that. Um, that, that that's a, a rundown of Stillwater Landing. Absolutely. I, I'm thinking about, you know, what, what, the, what a story it is that um, God would speak to you about this particular vocation through the use of a boar. You know, if you, if you would talk to yourself when you were in seminary and said, hey, this is how God is going to use this, what would you what would your reaction have been at that time? Oh, it's always good. You don't know. Don't know where you're going. I think that's that's a good plan on God's. We would probably never venture out. Uh, if we knew where we were going. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And as you look ahead um, to the next several years, what do you see on the horizon for for the ministry at Stillwater's Landing? Yeah, you know, I think we're really poised uh, to take off and uh, start uh, helping employ other people. And part of the idea, like Thursday, we're going to be at the, the at the high school for a job fair day, and we're going to be showing them about uh, productivity and agriculture uh, to to show people, you know, in the in the rural community that there is uh, career options in niche agriculture, and uh, we hope to. To, to give that option so that some young people um, can stay in our area and have a, a, a valid vocation, uh, working with the land in a sustainable way, and not just sustainable, but um, quite, uh, quite honestly restorative way. Like that, that land is better now 
that we've been farming it for four years than it was when we got it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so we, we hope to, to be, to inspire people, uh, in that realm. Also, uh, it is, it is, we've found it to be therapeutic for people. Uh, some of our volunteers, um, have, have come in with different, um, emotional or mental health struggles and, and they, they find healing, uh, on the farm and I do too as a veteran um, actually three of us that are on the farm all the time are veterans and it is it is a, a place of healing uh, for the soul and for the mind and you know I would have never thought we were here uh, six years ago and where we'll be in four years or five more I don't know uh, but we do have plans to hire another full-time person and about three more seasonal people as well as continuing to take interns on and things like that. We just, um, yeah, so we're excited about it. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I'm thinking about people who are, who are watching or listening to this interview and who are starting out in ministry and trying to get a sense of, of what God's call is on, on their lives. And, and, but they have an inkling that they want to do something that's, um, that's out of the norm. That's, that's never been done before, or they have that entrepreneurial spirit inside of them that God has given them. Um, what would you say to somebody who's in that situation, who wants to try something that's never been done before? What rises to the top for you? Yeah, I would say go to the rural church. Um, the, I, yeah, after I graduated seminary, I was a, a rural church fellow, and I have found uh, the rural, one of the great things is a lot of times when you go to a a rural church, they don't have like programming packed in and their schedules planned before the year starts. And I talked to some of my colleagues that were associate pastors and in very large churches. And it was like, the plan was already set for years in advance as to what was going to be happening. And maybe that will change after, uh, as, as the pandemic wanes, um, that folks will be more open to that. But I would say, you know, go to the rural church and um, move away from a deficit mindset of thinking and say, oh, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't have this. Look at what you do have. That's what we did at, uh, at our churches at Hickory Stand in Oak Forest. It's like, okay, what do we have that is just awesome? And, you know, we got good music, we got good food, we got land. Uh, okay, how can we be faithful with what we already have? And I think answering that question opens up just endless possibilities. How do we combine all the things that we have to do something cool for the community, uh, something that proclaims the gospel uh, in new and surprising ways? That, that, would, that would be what I would say. Look at what you got and how do you be faithful with, with what you already have, especially things that we're not even using yet. Um, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. If, uh, if somebody wanted to find out more about Stillwater's Landing, what's a good place they can go? Um, they can they can find us on Facebook and let's see we also have a website uh, stillwaterlanding.org um, you can find us there but primarily Facebook is is the thing and we'll definitely be posting some stuff from our school day this Thursday um, that will be on our Facebook page and um, let's see the farm address. Uh, 2267 Fires Creek Road. We sell every Friday afternoon. We're moving uh, pork and produce uh, right there. So you can come on site or you can uh, connect with me uh, through the Oak Forest uh, Church website and, uh, you know, schedule a meeting. We do, I've done, I've led retreats down there for pastors and laity. Uh, We do farm tours and you can always come work. Uh, we, We take workers every day of the week. So um be happy to have you to come and work with us you heard it here folks you know let's get some field trips to Hayesville set up <laughs> and you know it's beautiful because uh Hinton Roll Life Center is just a, a, a mile and a half from Oak Forest where I'm sitting right now and you know they're they're happy to house people and and provide uh good food and stuff like that we're also working on a partnership with them to, to uh provide them with produce and pork that they can uh sell to their folks that are coming in Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Pastor Brian. I really appreciate it. Uh, Friends, we've been speaking with uh, Reverend Brian Wilson from Stillwater's Landing in Hayesville, North Carolina. Again, my name is John Harrell, and I'm at Ministry Incubators. You can uh, find out more at stillwaterslanding.org. Is that right, Brian? Yep. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, John.